Hey guys, this is Patrick Russell with the Edmonton Oilers. Today, you're gonna follow along for a, what a professional hockey player eats in a day. I have a workout today, just woke up. I think it's around 8.45 here. So, about to get some breakfast in me before workout. Um, today, I am gonna eat a little bit of yogurt, uh, vanilla, with some uh, parsley. I just love this chocolate, it's so good. It might not be the healthiest, but I don't really care to be honest. And then I'm gonna get a banana and an apple in there. So um, let me mix this up and I'll eat it. That's the first meal of the day for me. We got a, I added a coffee over here, banana, apple, crusley, um, a good, decently healthy meal uh, before I work out here in a little bit. All right guys, just finished the breakfast here, about to head to the gym here in a little bit, just needs to change. But what I like to do is um, get some of my supplements in about 20 to 30 minutes before I leave, so it, it has time to kick in a little bit. Um, I like to do the pre-workout. I actually love the pink lemonade taste. It's uh, my favorite. And then I just put a little bit of creatine in it and um, shake it up, and then I'm ready to go for a workout. All right, guys, it's time for the second meal of the day. We got a, a lunch here. I know this is gonna be a little bit different than what you guys are used to over in Canada and the States. Um, my girlfriend was not a big fan. She's Canadian in the beginning, but now all she eats for lunch is these open face sandwiches. It's kind of a part of the Danish culture here. So we got some uh, rye bread or some more normal bread that you guys might recognize. Um, I'm gonna do some fish over here, some ham salad, some liver paste, some ham and cheese, and then uh, a little bit of cucumber on top. And then I got the big corny uh, peanut uh, peanut butter chocolate that I'm gonna finish it off with. So uh, yeah, let's, uh, let's do this. Guys, I think that's uh, that's it. That's what I'm gonna eat here. We, I know it's it looks very different from what you guys are used to over there with you guys' lunch, but I look forward to coming home every year in the summer. This is typically not what I eat during a season. I would probably eat some pasta or something like that, but I love coming home, getting this, the Danish culture back in me, and it's, uh, yeah, it's something to look forward to in the summer. So uh, let's do this. It's finally time for uh, some dinner here. I uh, usually just get like a little bit of a BCAA complex. It stimulates the muscle building and recovery. So it gets me ready for another day. So I'll just have one of those while I'm making dinner. And for tonight's dinner, we have some taco salad. So I'll make some taco meat and then uh, I'll mix it in with some lettuce, onions, tomatoes, and that should be it.
right, guys, that's it for today. I hope you guys uh, enjoyed following along a little bit behind the scenes of what I eat during a, during a typical dandy off season. So I obviously try to eat a lot. Um, as I, It's pretty hard on the body going on the ice, being in the gym, trying to get ready for the next season and obviously get my supplements in me so I can uh, kind of recover. Um, so yeah, hope you guys got a little bit of an insight and maybe some inspiration and uh, thank you for following along.